Nem tokai dunga ma atong morotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 5, Consonant Clusters. In this lesson, we will learn about combinations of consonants like sa-ra, ba-ra, sa-ka, and sa-ma, and that sometimes they can be pronounced with an extra e uh sound. We will also learn a little bit about meaningful parts in words. The consonant clusters we are interested in in this video are two consonants together in the same meaningful part. For example, the clusters saka in the word skiwa, the cluster bala in the word blongen, the cluster bara in the word habri, and the cluster sama in the word mxmel. Note that the combinations paha, taha, kaha, naga, and taha are not the type of clusters that interest us in this video because the combinations of these consonants are usually used to write just one speech sound. Exceptions are words like chokhoi and sangumu. Here we see three examples of words with consonant clusters we are interested in for this lesson. The clusters are underlined. The words are habri, bisken, and shukrung. The clusters bara, saka, and kara are in the same meaningful parts of these words. But what are these meaningful parts? Here you see an analysis of three words. The word habri has a meaningful part ha and another meaningful part bri. The word bisken has the meaningful parts bi and sken. And the word shukrung is just one meaningful part by itself. How do we know what the meaningful parts of these words are? Well, the different meaningful parts can be combined with other meaningful parts to make different words. In the word ha bri, the meaningful parts ha and bri can be separated to form words like ha mang, ha pal, and ha gun. The meaningful parts in the word bisken can be separated to make the words bisang, bichi, and bigaba. And, as I said before, the word sukrung cannot be broken up into smaller parts to make other words. The whole word is just one meaningful part. When people speak, they sometimes put the sound e uh between the two consonants of a cluster. When the e uh is pronounced, the cluster is broken up, because there is now an e uh sound between the two consonants. Listen. Skiwa, sekiwa. When I say skiwa, there is a cluster, saka. When I say sekiwa, the cluster is broken up by the e uh sound, sekiwa. In the spelling, you can also break up these consonant clusters. Read skiwa, sekiwa. These types of words with a consonant cluster can also be spelled without cluster, but with the letter e uh breaking the cluster up. The way you spell these words depends on your preferred pronunciation. There are two ways to speak and two ways to spell. So, we can write habri, bisken, sukrung, just as we can write habri, bisken, sukrung. Both spellings are correct. Of course, you can also write sukrung with three us if you say it like that. Atong spelling is very flexible. Here we see some more examples of clusters that can be broken up. They are underlined. The cluster is sara in the word hnetsrang and mxram. You can see the meaningful parts of both words in the analysis. The word hnetsrang has the meaningful parts hn, et, and srang. We can see that these parts can also be used in other words, like nuketsa, sasrango, and raisrangtsa. The meaningful parts in the word mxram can be used to make other words too like mktei, mksuwa, and mkdao. Don't worry that the meaning of sram in mksram is not very clear. It is just a meaningful part that is only used in combination with mk. Hnetsrang and mksrang can also be pronounced hnetsrang and mksrang. Two ways to speak, two ways to spell. These words can also be spelled with the letter e uh breaking up the consonant cluster as we can see here. Both spellings are correct. Here are some more examples of words that can be pronounced in two ways. 
with or without consonant cluster. We can say them like this. Blongen, belongen. Muxmel, muxemel. Isken, isken. Skia, sekia. How do you say them? Some clusters are never broken up, even when they are in the same meaningful part. The words mbeng and ndun are meaningful parts all by themselves, but the clusters are just never broken up. Nobody says mbeng or ndun. Here we see some examples of words with clusters, but the two consonants each belong to a different meaningful part, and therefore they are never broken up. The meaningful part lang is just added to the word sak to add some meaning. So the consonants ka and la are together, but they belong to different meaningful parts of the word, and so, of course, nobody says saka lang. In the word te pratwa, the consonants pa and ra are together, but they belong to different meaningful parts, just like the consonants ta and wa. Nobody says te pratwa. Now let's do an exercise to see what you have remembered. For this exercise you need a pen or pencil and some paper. So pause this video to get them if you don't have them with you already. Exercise. Clusters or not. You will see and hear six Aton words. Copy each word onto your paper. Underline the consonant clusters in each word. If you don't hear a consonant cluster, you don't underline anything. For example, you will hear and see one. Gajretok. You hear a cluster, and so you underline the letters ja and ra like this. You will see and hear two. Jerem. You do not hear a cluster, and you will not underline anything. I will read every word twice. Ready? Here we go. One. Belongen. Belongen. Two. Sagrai. Sagrai. Three. Skinny. Skinny. Four. Berei. Berei. Five. Kakpretok. Kakpretok. Six. Blakok. Blakok. Exercise Damok. Let me give you the solutions. There was no cluster pronounced in one. Belongen. The words two and three were pronounced with a cluster. Sagrai and skinny. The clusters are gara and saka. The word bere was pronounced without a cluster. Five and six had clusters in the pronunciation. Kakpretok, cluster pa ra and blakok, with the cluster ba la. So remember, in some words, two consonants come together in the same meaningful part. The two consonants together are called a cluster. Words like this are sagrai, blongen, skiok, muxmel, bisken and habri. Some words with clusters can also be pronounced and spelled without clusters, but with the letter e. Uh. Two ways to speak, two ways to spell. What you spell depends on your preferred pronunciation. Sagrai or sagrai, blongen or belongen, skiyok or sekiyok, muxmel or muxemel, bisken or biseken, habri or habri. In the next video, we will learn about how to find meaningful parts in words. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please click the like button. Bye bye, see you next time.